Tycho Brahe, the renowned 16th century Danish astronomer, alchemist, astrologist, and scientist, was a true embodiment of a brilliant mad scientist. His contributions to science and astronomy, particularly in the field of lunar theory, were immense. However, his life was filled with bizarre incidents that make for a captivating tale. Raised by an uncle who kidnapped him, Tycho had a penchant for alcohol and was never one to back down from an argument. During his time as a student at the University of Rostock, he found himself in a heated dispute with his fellow student Manderup Parsberg, purportedly over mathematics. This disagreement resulted in a peculiar duel where Brahe ultimately lost his nose. However, being born in an era where cosmetic surgery was not available, Brahe had to come up with a creative solution to preserve his vanity. He fashioned a brass nose piece, long believed to be made of gold and silver, and kept a small tube of paste in his pocket at all times. With this makeshift solution, Brahe ensured that he was never caught nose down, and managed to maintain his appearance despite the outcome of the duel. Even his death remained shrouded in mystery. In 1601, while attending a banquet in Prague with his family, Tycho ate and drank heartily but was unable to leave the table, as it was considered impolite. He suffered for 11 days from what is believed to be a burst bladder or kidney, with an excess of urea in his blood before passing away. There were persistent claims that Tycho was poisoned by mercury due to the presence of the toxin in his mustache hairs. However, recent investigations, including the exhumation of his body in 2010, dismissed this theory. Instead, it is believed that Tycho may have died from a combination of obesity, diabetes, and alcoholism, which are still common ailments today. Tycho's fascination with astronomy was sparked by a solar eclipse he witnessed in 1560 while studying in Copenhagen. The fact that the eclipse had been accurately predicted long before it occurred intrigued him, and he embarked on a quest to make science systematic and accurate. He went on to gather and assemble one of the largest bodies of astronomical data in history, working as one of the last naked eye astronomers without the aid of telescopes for his observations. Tycho's personal life was as complex as his scientific endeavors. He was kidnapped by his uncle at the age of two, and his parents seemingly accepted it. He inherited a vast amount of wealth, amounting to 1% of all Danish wealth at the time, and his marital life was complicated by the fact that he lived with a woman from outside the aristocracy. According to Danish law, after living with a woman for three years with the keys of the household in her possession, noblemen were considered married. One of the most intriguing aspects of Tycho's life is the alleged murder plot surrounding his death, which has links to Shakespeare's famous play Hamlet. In Hamlet, the prince seeks revenge against his uncle Claudius for murdering his father and taking the throne and marrying his mother. It was believed for a long time that Tycho was murdered, and there were two plausible theories behind this tale. First, Tycho had an illicit relationship with the Queen while serving as the personal astrologer to King Frederick II. When Frederick's son, King Christian IV, ascended to the throne, he was said to be filled with vengeance, which allegedly inspired Shakespeare's Hamlet. Second, Tycho's children were not considered legitimate heirs to his possessions because he had married outside the aristocracy. His astronomical data, including a thousand newly catalogued stars, was his prized possession, and even his esteemed pupil, Johann Kepler, did not have access to it. When Tycho died and confusion arose over his legacies, Kepler took advantage of the situation to steal the data, as he later admitted. Tycho Brahe's life was nothing short of sensational, filled with drama, intrigue, and brilliance. His contributions to science and astronomy continue to be remembered and celebrated today, and his legacy as a larger-than-life figure in the history of science remains enduring. Thanks for watching. If you love exploring the unexplained, please make sure to like and subscribe.